Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and welcome back to my channel. This is Cliff's Dark Gems. This evening I'm going to be doing the community question and answer thing uh, that I post on my community page where people have given me some questions about my life um, and now I'm going to answer them. Stay tuned. Okay everyone, before we start, as you can see I've got a nice warm top on, I haven't been feeling so great the last couple of days, got a bit of cold and flu, but hey, smile and do the best I can. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, these are some of the things people have posted on co my community page in celebration of my first anniversary on Booktube. Um, so let me just go through this, I'm going to have to try and read this. Okay, from Sylvie. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your wife. Uh, your channel was a fine for me this year and I've been enjoying your videos so much. I love Q&As and would love to know your favorite horror movies. Ty, and have a wonderful holiday. Thanks so much, Ty. You too. Uh, okay, I'm going to go through my top three um, and then just maybe put number one up there. My favorite horror movies are in third place. Okay, maybe this is interchangeable. I just kind of worked this out. There might be other ones that might fit in there. But in third place, Shaun of the Dead. I absolutely love this movie. It is so hysterically funny. It's a horror comedy. And it's a kind of movie that you can watch over and over again. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I've seen it many, many times. And I never really get bored. Oh, so yeah, that's Shaun of the Dead. In second place, we have uh, The Shining. Fantastic movie, absolutely epic, very different from the book. But it's just an incredible movie, incredibly terrifying. Um, and Stanley Kubrick gives his own vision. Um, even though it's different from the book, I really appreciate what the movie was as well. And in first place, we got Dawn of the Dead. Uh, this has always been my favorite horror movie. It is just so interesting, um, and I love the whole, I think it's a trilogy, maybe there's more. Uh, you know, The Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, I can't remember the others. But it's George R. Romero, um, and my favourite of the lot is Dawn of the Dead, which takes place in a, a shopping complex, which just makes the whole thing so interesting. It's all the social commentary, there's, there's humour black humor and it's terrifying and I love the fact that the zombies are slow moving but it's just overwhelming um, and it's just such an excellent movie in every single aspect of it and yeah it's a movie I can watch over and over again as well um, just very intelligent filmmaking uh, so that's Dawn of the Dead okay everyone the next message excuse me is taken from uh, Marilyn Stout and it is Hello Cliff. Merry Christmas to you and your lovely wife. Thank you so much. What was the first book you read that made you a horror reader? What are some of your favorite horror movies? Okay, dealt with that. Can you recommend some South African horror writers? Uh, congratulations on your one year anniversary and I can't wait to see what the new year brings for your channel. Take care. Happy reading. Thank you. Okay, first of all, the first book that got me into horror and I mentioned this before on my channel, is Stephen King It, which I read as a teenager. And yeah, I've never really looked back since then. Um, after that, I kind of went on a Stephen King binge. And I've lo loved horror ever since. Um, so yeah, that's the first one. Then in terms of the movies, I have mentioned already. I'm thinking of doing a, a top 10 horror movies of all time at some stage. Uh, but we'll get to that at some point. Um, and then South African horror. Um, I can't think of any really horror horror writers that stand out, but there are quite a number of exceptional thriller writers, or crime thrillers, um, and two that I've read, or one that I've read and one that I really want to read. Uh, one that I've read is Dion Mayer, um, and he, he's, read, he's written a huge amount of crime thrillers, 
Um, and I've read a couple of them and they were really, really good. Um, a lot of them set in Cape Town, which is uh, his, uh, his birthplace where he lives. A beautiful city. Um, but yeah, he's a great crime writer, a crime thriller writer. And then we got Lauren Bjorks, um, who's perhaps more well known. And she's very well known for two particular books. The one is The Shining Girls, and the other one is Broken, what's it? Broken Monsters. Um, and I think Broken Monsters is considered possibly horror, but they're both thrillers. And I know Shining Girls is about a, a serial killer that can travel through time. But yeah, those, those are the two um, crime thriller writers that I would think are great South African writers. Um, okay, and the next one. At Jess Book Girl. Hi Jess. Uh, Merry Christmas. What is the toughest thing you've experienced about Booktube? Uh, what type of music are you into? Yeah, the toughest thing i found is, and I mentioned this in my last video, when I talked about my um, anniversary tag, the toughest thing is, toughest thing is balancing everything. Um, it's just balancing the time you spend reading, creating videos, uh, watching other people's videos, supporting other channels, um, spending time with your wife and your dog, spending time with people and doing everything else in your life that is important. Uh, all these things together can be very difficult to manage um, and it's something that I'm still working on. But yeah, um, that is probably the most difficult thing about Booktube is you have to work really hard at it and you have to manage, manage your time and you have to balance it. You have to put out videos regularly and it can turn a lot of people off. That's a lot of time. And then, what is your favourite, uh, what music are you into? Yeah, we're both passionate about music. Um, I love the 70s and 80s era. 80s era, not as much as my wife. Um, he likes uh, Euro pop. And, uh, look, I like some um, 80s pop music, but I'm much more into the 70s, uh, hard rock, rock. I can just throw out a couple of bands. I think some of you know that my favourites are Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin. But I also, I mean, I can go anywhere from Queen, Eric Clapton, Pink Floyd, The Doors, Black Sabbath. Ah, oh, just, just about anything that you mentioned in the 70s. Um, Hell, Electric Light Orchestra, maybe that's 80s, I don't know. Just about anything. Um, we've just got such a huge library of music. So yeah, that's my favourite music, uh, mostly 70s and 80s. Okay, next up we've got an awesome question from Gentle Reader. Um, and Gentle Reader says, If an evil spirit <coughs> removed all horror books from the world, what else would you read to fill the gap? Um, uh, what a bastard, that evil spirit. I hate that evil spirit. Um, but if I really had to fall back on something, there's a lot of fantasy that I love. There's a lot of dark fantasy. Um, I'm not sure if it's back here, but We World is one of my favorite books, and it's classified more as dark fantasy, like a lot of Clive Barker. And I'm also getting more into science fiction and so on. So there's a whole world out there of books to, dis to discover. So I'll get by, even though I'll be a little bit angry that that bastard evil spirit took away all the horror. Okay, next up we got Bookish Chaz. He says, Happy Holidays to you, Cliff. Right back at you, Chaz. Let's turn over. Let's see what else we got here. Right, we got Bad is Rad. She sent me two messages. The first one was, I need to think of a cool question to you. Yay, have Merry Christmas to you and your family. I hope you had a lovely Christmas, Bad. Um, uh, okay, the question is, what is the two memories in your whole life that you would like to relive again? Life is beautiful. Okay, I had to think quite hard about this because um, I've got so many wonderful memories of the bush and of the wilderness. Um, both with my wife when we backpacked, or we, no, we didn't backpack, have hey, we? Mm -hmm. No, we just toured. We did a tour around um, South Africa before we were married. We went to some beautiful places experienced thunderstorms, um, extreme cold, which we didn't expect, extreme heat. It was just really beautiful. And then also, um, and I could go on that trip over and over again, but then also on my own 
when I was a field guide before I met my wife, I experienced incredible sunsets, incredible nature, incredible wildlife. But you know, to be honest with you, the moment of my life, and I know this might sound, I don't know, but like the moment of my life that I could put on repeat forever, like Groundhog Day, is my wedding, is our wedding. Um, and it was just the most beautiful day, and I could just repeat it again and again and again. Everything about it was perfect. Um, the guests, the family, the place, the drinks that flowed, the music, everything about it was absolutely gorgeous. Just so nice that everyone could sleep over at the at that place as well, the venue. Um, but yeah, that is my memory that I could relive over and over again. My wedding. Okay everyone, and we got a couple more uh, greetings. From Big L does booktube says Merry Christmas to you and your good lady. Yes, she is a good lady. I look forward to your tag. Um, thanks, Big L. Love your channel as well, and hope you had happy holidays. And then Bad is rad. I already mentioned that. By the way, it's such an awesome question, Bad. Um, and then Severus, Merry Christmas. Kudos from Belgium. Awesome. Got a subscriber from Belgium. Merry Christmas back. Right at you. I hope you had an awesome holidays. And then I've got one from Anita Murray. I wonder who that is. Um, what book would you love to have a first edition of? Um, well, I can think of my favorite book of all time. Swan Song by Robert McCammon. If I had a first edition hardcover signed by the author, whatever, anything like that, that would be freaking awesome. But even um, a Stephen King first edition would be great. Uh, Clive Barker, We Will First Edition, that would be awesome as well. Uh, so yeah. And then finally, we got Roy Reads Anything, who says, Merry Christmas Cliff. Right back at you, Roy. Love your channel. And um, thank you for the message. I hope you had happy holidays. And to all of you out there, yeah, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, great Boxing Day, and this New Year's Eve coming up. Um, take care of yourselves. Have a Awesome New Year's Eve, a great 2024, and yeah, keep those pages turning. Take care of yourselves, cheers.